Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. So, if you guys are all having an amazing day today, and in this video, we're going to be going over the new season. An interesting name, Lotus Bloom. Definitely not a, uh, a name that I'd see for, like, a war game, but I like the name. I think it definitely works with the kinds of dragons that they have, as well as visually. Um... Aralina is unfortunately leaving the War Dragons team after this event. I know uh, we haven't always seen eye to eye, but really sorry to hear that she has left. And if she ends up watching this, doubtful. But if she does, I appreciate uh, what you've done for this community, Aralina. And definitely, I think a lot of people will miss you as well, including myself. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get on. Now, the worst thing is, oh boy. Branches increasing in cost by 4.5k sigils. <sighs> that is unfortunate. Um, I'm fairly irritated at that because that is quite a significant amount of sigils to increase. Like, that's, that's a bit. They will say that there will be 14 prizes increased. So, all I can say is, is that I really hope... Those 14 prizes involve, like, 50 or 60 gold chests. You know? You know what I'm saying? Um, either way, though, increasing price. Now, they're also changing how branches work. So, instead of the current one keeper branch with mythics costing three each, there will be six keys in each branch. And each mythic will require 18 keys. So, basically, it allows you to do partial branches. So, let's say you do, I don't know... Uh, three keys in six different branches, right? Now, obviously, resource-wise, you don't necessarily want to do that, in my opinion. I think that would be a dumb idea to get, you know, partial branches in all the different ones, so you only have, like, a couple of stones for each dragon, but gives you that opportunity. So, let's go ahead and go into the dragon. So, we got a Sura. This is the discount dragon. Awesome. Another hunter. Um, let's look at these spells. On the hunt, alternates between stock and pounce. Dragon cloaks briefly and recovers hunter ammo upon uncloaking damages nearby towers. Um, debuffs nearby towers to take massively, massively increased damage. Now, obviously, you can use this to, like, cycling through, so kind of like Meglox and other dragons like that. Um, this is definitely going to be an interesting one, because the issue I see already is that the second that, let's say, you go into stock, right, and you blink, because in order for this guy to be useful at all, you're going to be able to, you're going to have to blink out the blue mage, assuming there's a blue mage, which means if you use in trap and you blink and you cycle to pounce, you can't reuse the cloak in order to dodge the next round of damage or any other mage shots. Let's say there's the blue in the back. Um... Yeah, I'm worried about this guy. I don't think that he's going to be very viable. I could be wrong, though. Um, Hunter's Mark. Now, the nice thing is, is that this guy has Hunter's Mark, which if you got Nocturne, also Nocturne has Hunter's Mark. So this guy's rune will more than likely buff Hunter's Mark, meaning that you can actually use his Mythic Glyph on Nocturne, and it will definitely be solid. So, little uh, tip there. And then we got Nusifura. Nusifura. Interesting. Really, really pretty dragon. A little weird looking, not going to lie, but definitely pretty cool. Earth Sorcerer. Magic Barrier. Dragon Shields Dragon from all damage. So you got a you got a shield, right? The two pass alternates between Disorder and Tranquility. Interesting. I, I, like, I like that. Disorder damages nearby towers and causes them to take increased damage. That's awesome. I definitely like it. Um, and then you got Tranquility. Damages nearby towers and causes them to deal... To deal, not take. That's why... At first, when I read this, I was like, wait, hold up. So, you are basically, like, taking back the increased damage. No, it's dealing less damage to you, and Disorder is increasing the amount of damage you do to them. So, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, Karmic Bolt, heavily damages towers in a small area, restores health on cast. So, we got a heal. Awesome. Um, also, you got a way to increase damage and decrease damage. You got, a, you got a shield, and Peacebringer summons 
a mortal warrior dragon to attack nearby towers has increased rage generation. So I'm assuming that when it says mortal, unless she's covering up the word immortal. Wait, actually, you know what? Looking at the spacing, it must be immortal. Because summons and then the mortal, it would like... Or unless it summons a mortal. Oh, it may be summon a mortal. Anyways, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think this guy actually may be a pretty interesting dragon. Right, because you got that heavily damaged in a small target area. I wonder if that is able to hit more than one. Because if you can, right, let's say you kill the red mage. Um, you know, this guy might not actually be too bad. The only thing that I see that screwing this guy up is a ice flak. But, I mean, besides that, like, not too shabby. Definitely not too shabby. Alrighty, then we got the mythics. Now, this is a mythic wind warrior. Obviously, they have to, you know, put two mythics that are both win back-to-back -back seasons. Cower in fear! Exclamation mark. Damages nearby towers and caught and freezes them in fear. Pretty cool. Destroys wrath. Toggle to massively increase da dragon breath damage. Drains rage while active. Uh, delight in destruction. Restores rage on cast. Um... So basically, I'm seeing this as like a Blood Fury, just a little bit of a different kind, right? Because you get that Rage. I'm assuming, right, that means that it'll maybe cost one Rage and then it gives like at least one Rage back. Or I'm assuming maybe even two. Um, and then also you get that health whenever you destroy a tower. Bladestorm. Dragon dodges all incoming projectiles and periodically damages nearby towers. Um... Okay, okay, so I'm thinking that this guy is going to be very dependent on rage costs, because the main thing I see with this guy is, let's say you can't kill the red mage, because the thing, the thing with this is, in order to use his main spell, which is cower and fear, you have to kill the red mage, so if a defender has, let's say, an Earth Flak or an Ice Flak, or sorry, an Earth Flak or an Ice Turret, and is spamming repairs, and you're not able to kill the Red Mage, mm, that's going to get difficult. Um, you do have the way to dodge Mage Shots, so that's pretty critical, right? Um, that would be one reason why I would say that this guy is trash, but he's not particularly trash. He might still be, but it doesn't look like he's going to be a horrible dragon, right? Okay, and then we got Naha. Now, I heard from a gameplay faction member that this guy is pretty solid, so I'm hopeful, right? Um, obviously, they have to do another Earth Frickin' Mythic, um, so that's unfortunate. Fortunately, I'm maxing out my, uh, Earth, my second Earth Mythic set, so should be good there. But let's see what we got here. Invoke Smite. Dragon's Invoke attack deals massive damage to target tower, so kind of like, um, oh, what's his face? Uh, Morak. Basically a one-shot, right? Then we got Mark Attribute. Marks the target tower when Mark Tower is destroyed. Dragon re restores rage and health. That's pretty big. That's pretty big. Um, projectors Resolve. Uh, toggle to gain a shield that blocks all incoming damage. Drains rage while active. So you have a heal, you have a way to dodge all damage, which is pretty big. Um, turn the tide, dragon cloaks briefly. Upon uncloaking, dragon damages nearby towers and gains increased breath damage. This guy seems like he's going to be very, very interesting. I mean, I mean, I'm excited. I think this guy may be a little bit better than the warrior. Um, you know, the biggest issue with Morak, for example, was the fact that you had no way to regain health. So on longer bases, you were kind of screwed because, you know, after a certain period of time, you just lose all your health and there was no way for you to regain it. This guy gives you that ability. So that's pretty big. Um, I'm excited. I probably will be going for the Invoker more than likely. Also, I already got Nocturne, uh, so that is my win gear. So, yeah. Uh, I probably won't be getting the warrior, but either way, looking like a solid, interesting dragon, um, 
I mean, overall, these dragons in this season don't seem too bad. So, I mean, I guess that's an improvement. Nocturne is turning out to be a pretty fun dragon to fly, but definitely not anything like Gnarl or Namaka or Mechlock or any of those dragons. So, anyways, hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, y'all.